Yeah. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, just going to wait a few more minutes. It's only 31. You guys are the early birds. Hello, good morning. Can you turn it down? Okay. You know they can see me. My dad's trying to give me a shot. He's at school. <laughs> He's like, oh, look at my little boy go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you on the congrat. Or er, yes, I did just graduate. Um, for all you guys, I know you guys are probably wondering or asking through the screen. Uh, I am attending Masai College in the fall and planning to major in cybersecurity. Um, I just registered for my classes about a week ago, so, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. They just did announce, uh, about two weeks ago that they will be having, um, in-class academic, uh, school year. So, um, we'll see if that, um, still is going on by the end of the summer, but enough about me. It looks like we're getting, a uh, Good uh, people in here, so um, I'm just gonna pray it off. Uh, Holy Spirit, will you just come this morning? Just fill the people up who are watching this live stream, Lord, and who will watch it later. Um, just help them start this day off good by watching this uh, live stream. Not for me, Lord, but for you. Uh, that I am preaching your goodness, Lord, and just spreading your love. Let me ask all these things in your name. Amen. Um, well, good morning, everyone. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about hate. And I know it's 8.33 in the morning, and the first thing you want to hear about is hate. But I'm telling you, it's not going to be that bad. Maybe for a small part, but not that long. Um, so, you know, for the past through a uh, couple weeks, we've been just seeing a lot of hate in the world, you know, just you turn on the news, you look on social media, you know, you you just see hate. The world is filled with hate right now. And, you know, I was thinking about this. I was like, well, I mean, it's a broken world. What did we, I mean, what did we expect? There's going to be hate. There's going to be fear. And, you know, what makes us hate? Well, what makes me hate is that, um... You know, yesterday I woke up, it was a good start to the day, and, you know, I go downstairs, I'm hungry, because, you know, it's called break fast, um, but I didn't really want breakfast, I kind of was in the mood for a sandwich, so I opened the pantry, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm trying to look for the peanut butter, which I so adore, because peanut butter is the best butter out there, um, and, you know, I just look, my dad's sitting at the kitchen table, and I'm like, Where, where's the peanut butter? And he said, oh, oh, I ate it. And, you know, if you come, if you are in the family, if you know us, we are the two peanut butter munchers in the family. You know, if you ask for Reese's, you would, um, you would know that we would probably eat them in a second. So I'm looking at him. I'm just like, you know, I didn't eat any of that peanut butter. He said, oh, I'm sorry. I'll buy you more. And it's been about 26 hours and he still hasn't bought me more. So that's a problem. Um, another thing that I just... You know, I hate, I hate when people talk about themselves constantly in a conversation. It's just like they're talking to themselves in the mirror, right? You know, you just, I, 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 I'm like, I get that you are I, but what about me? I'm trying to talk to you. You're not talking to yourself. You know that if you really, if you're talking to me in a conversation and you do that, you know, you'll see the other side of Elijah. Um, another serious topic, um, you know, I I hate the fact when people use the word ism, pessimism, racism, sexism, you know. 
Um, just the thought of an ism is a word. It's just really sad of how we have to describe someone or something. Um, and how people can hate. And the reason, I'm still looking for the reason on why people can hate um, people for the color of their skin or their gender. Um, and what the reason is behind that. If you guys know that, can you please tell me because I would like to be informed. Um, but you know, these are just three, this is just scratching the surface of what we probably hate. You know, there's probably a lot of things throughout our lives that we just, we just hate, you know. Um, but in the Bible, it says clear as day, uh, first John 4, 20 and 21, I'm speaking from the message, um, so that we can all, um, understand because trust me, some of the other translations, my mind just goes spiraling but it says here if anyone boasts i love god and goes on hating his brother or sister thinking nothing of it he is a liar if you won't love the person he can't see how can he love the god he can't see the command we have from christ is blunt loving god includes loving people you've got to love both and you know he says it right there i mean even though this world is filled with hate, he says it right here that if you hate someone and you say you love God, you are lying to you and to the person you are talking to. I mean, it's a hard pill to swallow, which I'm probably going to say a lot today because it is. Hate is a hard pill to swallow. And, you know, we see this instance when Jesus is being hung on the cross. He's dying. He's been, he's been whipped. He's been beat. He's now being mocked, spit on. And in Luke twenty three thirty four, he could have said one of two things here, but he says uh, the first option. He says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Now, right then and there, Jesus could have been, screw you guys. I'm going to heaven. You guys are staying on earth, and you guys are going to get the wrath of it. But no, he looks at him, and he prays to the Father, Father, forgive them. For they do not know what they are doing. And you know, throughout the Bible, it seems like God and Jesus and anybody just fights hate with love, you know. Um, and just a few verses up in First John uh, 4, 7 through 8, uh, I actually used to sing uh, this verse in a um, summer camp. In the King James Version, which I tried to read, and I was just like, this isn't making sense. So I'm also reading it in the message. My beloved friends, let us continue to love each other since love comes from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and experiences a relationship with God. The person who refuses to love doesn't know the first thing about God because God is love. So you can't know him if you don't love. Now, this is a very core, big correlation here with 1 John 4.20, but it is talking about love. You know, um, he says, um, if the person refuses to love, doesn't know the first thing about God. So if you don't have any love in your heart and you are a believer of Christ, you have, you don't know the first thing about God if you don't have love. And, you know, it seems like in the Bible you see love and hate put together. And we see it um, in the world here today. Um, I mean, we live in a broken world. You turn on the news, the first thing you usually see is the big story, and which is usually filled with negativity and hate towards something or someone. Um, you know, there might be a lot, some people in your life, I know you guys probably don't want to admit it, but there's probably some people in your life that you just, you just, hate and I know hate is a strong word but it, when you really think about it you you hate them you hate they might have did something to you they might have uh, said something about you they might have said might have uh, said something about your family about what you do in your everyday life about what you believe in about what your politic um, side is and you know what it's you gotta hit that um, you have to uh, fight hate with love. And, you know, another thing uh, about hate, you know, I have a few stories. There's been a few times where I've been on the edge of being late 
a few times, being late, you know, just a few, uh, being late to school, um, and I would, this past year, I'd drive, um, and, you know, usually from where we used to live in our old house, I would just take Route 100 all the way up, because it goes straight up to, um, Pennsburg. Um, and, you know, there was a few days where I'd have to make, um, invasive maneuvers, I wasn't speeding, invasive maneuvers, let's call it that, um, and, you know, there's this part on Route 100 where it goes from one lane and then two, so you can pass the person that you're behind who may be going slow, um, and then it goes right back into one lane. So, you know, um, I was on the edge of being late, making invasive maneuvers, um, and there was this white truck in front of me, and I said, he was going pretty slowly, I, I clearly remember, clear as day, looking at my, uh, speedometer, I'm going 30 and a 50, I'm just like, dude, I, I gotta get, I gotta get to school, so we get to the part where it turns into two lanes, and I line up next to him, and I look at him, and he's on his phone, and the light turns green, and I'm cruising along in the passing lane, and then the arrows start coming up. You gotta merge. You gotta merge. And I look over, and the truck is neck and neck with me. I'm just like, dude, you gotta let me over. And he wouldn't let me over. And I'm lo I looked at him. He's looking at me. I'm just like, all right. There's one or two options here. One, I get you push me into the other lane, and I have a head-on collision. Two, I run into you and tell the police that you wouldn't let me merge. And, you know, he didn't want any of those options, so I had to punch the gas and get in front of him. And, you know, ever since then, I hated him. And I looked in my rearview mirror. I don't even know who he is, and I hate him. Um, and, you know, I had to pull the classic logic. And, you know, being a little late for one day of class is okay, but I wasn't late. Uh, I had to hit him with the 30 miles an hour until we got to the next stoplight, which he did make a right-hand turn. But um, it's just stuff like that, that people just... You know, you hate people while they're driving, like road raging. And, you know, you gotta, what I should have done with the godly thing would have done, you know, I should have just let him go. Um, but I didn't. I had to, I had to pay him back. Um, but, you know, you have to fight, I'm gonna say it again, you have to fight hate with love. You know, you see, um, the stuff the news doesn't show in the morning after the protests. I know there was, like, groups of, uh, people cleaning up like graffiti on buildings, you know, they're fighting hate with love. They're showing the love of Christ. And uh, there was a protest, I think it was in London or England, or something. London is in England, of course, um, that there was someone who got hurt in a protest, and they were, picked them up and carried them out of the protest as it was starting to get a little violent. And, you know, they're spreading the word of love through hate to take the second and pick up your brother and, you know, it's just those types of things that just shows the love of God. And, you know, it's a hard, again, a hard pill to swallow, especially with hate. You know, someone's making fun of you. All you want to do is make fun of them back. Um, but, you know, what God says is that you got to love one them. And, yeah, you might look like a lame in the process, but, you know, you're doing it for the love of God. And you got to live with forgiveness and compassion for them in your life. And most especially, you have to live with love. Um, and to know that even though you might look like a lame in the, um, in the second, that you know that you doing this will give you eternal life with Jesus. Um, and that is, um, what we live for. We live for an eternal life with Jesus after this life. So, you know, what I'm trying to say here to wrap things up, main point we're going, uh, going away with here is what I've been saying the whole time. You gotta fight hate with love, you know. You gotta, you know, you just gotta toughen up and be the bigger man and say, you know what, I love you. You know, it's a hard pill to swallow. It really is. I, I've never done it. If anyone's done it, please tell me because I need, I need some assurance. Um, but it does work. And, you know, sometimes it opens the other eyes of people. And it helps spread the um, love of God through the world, and if we all do it one step at a time, you know, um, who knows, we can change the world, so, yep, thank you guys for, uh, joining today, um, hope you guys learned at least a little something about me, um, yeah, and have a good rest of your day.